Oh, geez. Okay. I didn't dress like that every day, but there was a moment where I was just like, you know what, I'm just gonna go do it. I took like my mom's black eyeliner and put it on my lips and my eyes, and I walked downstairs and my Nana was like, hi. I had been transferred from the private school that I had gone to since I was a really little kid to a public school because it got really expensive. and. I was not really happy about it. I was really into like screamo and emo music and like hardcore <laughs> rock and all of that stuff. It's okay to embrace change. It's all right to be the new kid. It's all right to have a new surrounding. It helps you grow. Oh, oh my gosh, my son looks so much like me right here. <laughs> Yes, I love my dad's flat top. I can't take it. I love it so much. That's a vivid memory I have from when I was a kid is his flat top and my mom's big perm. I get a lot of my gumption and my strength and stubbornness and drive and ambition from both of my parents. My dad played football for the New York Giants. He knew that he was gonna play football and that's what he was going to do and that's the same thing with me. I knew that I was gonna be a singer. I didn't know when or where. I knew it was going to happen. It was plan A or plan A. This photo is so cute. Look at how we're holding on to each other. <laughs> And we still do that. I'll probably get emotional. This always happens when I talk about my brother. PJ has been the best sibling and support system that I think anybody could ask for. Cause when something happens like American Idol and all of a sudden it's not only my life that changed but everybody else's in my family that was affected. He could have easily resented me for it because all of a sudden it was all about me. But my brother was the one that was like, Jordan, you need to take, you need to take this. I don't know if I would have been able to handle a lot of the stuff that came in had it not been for him being like, it's okay. This is right what it says, the front of the line at American Idol in Pasadena at the Rose Bowl when I auditioned the first time. I sang my song and she was like, okay, next. So I went home and I did Arizona Idol, which is the localized version. I won. The prize for that was going to the next nearest audition city, which was Seattle, and that's where I made it. I was just excited to be there. And I think what I would say is just to remember that. Key in to the butterflies, key in to the excitement, because when you lose it or when it fades, you gotta, you gotta check yourself. So this is when I partnered with Febreze for their Febreze Your Gear campaign. I actually worked out that day, and um, yeah, I remember stinking. I grew up with around a ton of guys and boys. My dad playing football, my brother played, my cousins, my uncles, my grandpa, everybody. I grew up kind of rough and tumble like that. Like I'm definitely a tomboy, but I can dress up too. When I'm at the gym, it, mm -mm. I just, I go as hard as I possibly can. My face is like red, I'm drenched in sweat. I don't feel like I've had a good workout unless I'm drenched in sweat anyway. I would love to encourage girls to kind of take that primal side. There's something like really powerful about that.